I'm Corbett Wall with USDA Market News, here with your weekly feeder and stocker cattle market summary for the week ending January the 17th. We had feeder calves and short yearlings, mostly weighing over 700 pounds, selling fully steady to firm, instances up to $2 higher. Lighter weight calves under 700 pounds sold firm to $5 higher, with the exception of those lightweight steer and bull calves under 550 pounds and they traded five to fifteen dollars higher especially in the southeast and and in southeast surrounding areas including missouri but your uh the feeder markets just keep moving higher every week have ever since we got back from the holiday break but uh many markets were quoted even higher this week compared to last week but we're comparing these this week's markets to sharply higher markets last week and a lot of the markets that were called higher than uh, what we quoted here on the nationwide trend were actually catching up with gains that were seen a week ago heavy receipts this week we knew there would be because the weather kind of straightened up and uh, of course when the market's this good it draws a lot of cattle out of the woodwork but uh, extremely heavy receipts and, and didn't seem to flood the market. We had over 100,000 head in the reported auctions, more than we had a week ago. And compared to the same week a year ago, this week's receipts were about 20% higher. So a lot of cattle sold this week. Best demand uh, by far was for stalker calves and, and usually those guys that come out and buy their stalkers early, they sure enough want the males or the steers or lightweight bulls. and. That was in, indicative of the of the trend that we saw. But uh, there is some guys buying cattle, turning them out on late wheat, uh, maybe some stockpiled pasture. But for the most part, these lightweight calves are gonna be held over until spring. Guys wanna get in on those cattle before they get any higher and then go ahead and lock in their starting price because it doesn't look like they're gonna get any cheaper anytime soon. Fat cattle market continues to drive the feeder prices this week. Fat sold two to 350 higher on a live basis, 141, 142 in the Southern Plains, 143, 144 in the Northern Plains. And in the Northern Plains, your uh, dress price was four to six dollars higher from 226 to 228. Actually, your feeder cattle, your heavy feeders going right into the feedlot, for the first time in a long time, pencil out better than the lighter weight calves or the backgrounding cattle do. And we haven't seen that for quite a while and that's due to your cheaper feed prices of probably the cheapest feed we've seen in over three years. But uh, cold markets, cold weather has helped these cattle uh, sell better because there's a lot of, of weather been on these light calves that are coming through right now and they've got a hardened look to them. It's been cold up in uh, Aberdeen, South Dakota and this week at Hub City Livestock Auction they sold a fancy load of steers weighed 808 at 173.50. But we did see some of those markets and over in the mountain states and on the western side not much higher this week and moderating a little bit. In fact, in northern Colorado, those stock show specials due to the National Western, they're starting to wind down a little bit. And uh, they sold most of their fancier, bigger reputation strings in the first week or two of those specials and starting to get into some cattle not quite as fancy as they sold earlier and, and the prices are indicating that as, uh, as they're not any higher and actually quoted some cattle as much as five dollars lower in Colorado. This week's regional weighted averages in the north central states a six weight steer cost you 188.91 compared to 187.93 last week and 157.85 a year ago. In the south central states a six to seven hundred pound steer 180.12 compared to 179.03 last week and 151.70 a year ago. And down in the southeast, the six weight steer also cost you 167.32 compared to 160.34 last week and 141.50 a year ago. That wraps up your feeder and stocker cattle market summary for this week. Check out our website for more market information at marketnews.usda.gov. And from the Missouri Governor's Conference on Agriculture, Kansas City, Missouri. We'll talk to you next week.